It's not easy to say what a hackerspace is exactly. You know it when you're in one, but they're all unique because people are so unique. And in my book, a hackerspace is a physical place where people come in community to make things. And what people make can be way diverse and varied. My name is Mitch Altman. I'm a hacker, an inventor, an author. And I also go around the world doing workshops, teaching people how to solder and make things with electronics. Noisebridge is 5,200 square feet of total bizarre wonderfulness. We're a block and a half away from the 16th Street BART in the Mission District. So it's in a really happening part of town where people just walking by can say, wow, I wonder what's happening in Noisebridge and just pop in. Like here at Noisebridge, we have, of course, a place with a lot of computers, but not just computers. We also have a whole crafting area where people can sew and we have a dark room where people can develop their own photographs. We have a complete machine shop where people can make stuff mechanically. We have a full kitchen and we have classrooms so there are people that can give workshops, take workshops. Noisebridge has all of these things to offer and we are totally open and free to everyone in the community and everyone in the world. Noise bridge really is anarchy that works. We have one rule and one rule only, and that's be excellent to one another. And even though that's sort of hokey, it actually works. By putting a lot of diverse people on projects that they love doing, which is what hackerspaces are all about, we're putting out this beautiful noise into uh, society and learning a lot about ourselves and society and helping one another and helping our community along the way. Every Monday, I teach Circuit Hacking Monday. When I'm not in town, other people here do it. Let's see, they changed it. It used to be Blink, now they have Blink without delay. I teach people how to solder, which is an incredibly easy skill to learn, uh, surprisingly easy for all ages and all skill levels. Anyone can learn it, and it's really fun, and you can make anything electronics once you know how. Hackerspaces have been around for a long time, but in their current form, it's really a new wave of hackerspaces. And there were maybe 50 hackerspaces or so in the world by 2007, when the Chaos Computer Club put on their every four-year outdoor hacker conference they call Chaos Communications Camp. A friend of mine, Nick Farr, organized the first of a bunch of tours of hackers to meet other hackers and share our community with one another, bringing people from North America to this hacker camp. If uh, Americans could see what was going on here, that Americans would want to do it at home. And that's exactly what happened. So me and my friend Jake were there, also uh, other friends were there, and all of us opened up hackerspaces when we got home. Uh, Noisebridge here in San Francisco, NYC Resistor opened by Brie Pettis in New York City, HackDC opened by Nick himself, and there's also the Hactory in Philadelphia started by Pharmacon. Having four examples in the U.S. and together with this loose-knit uh, group of people that started hackerspaces.org. It was only at the camp in 2007 that uh, some of the panelists got the inspiration for actually building a hackerspace and um, that the whole movement got some momentum and well now look we can barely fit all the people involved on this at this table this is a way for everyone to network and not only see that hackerspaces are cool but that it's possible and it's thriving so we're approaching like thousand or so hackerspaces that exist in the world that are either forming or that already exist. And it's, it's amazing. This is a movement which is totally taking off now. We don't know where it's going, but it's really exciting to be uh, a part of wherever it's going. <laughs>